Hey guys, it's Davin here at brewbits.com. Behind the camera as usual, we've got James. Say hello, James. Today, I thought we would brew up a brand new beer kit. And this is by Mangrove Jacks, and it's their new Hazy IPA. It's quite a strong beer at 6.8%, but it only makes 18 litres. So what's that? That's just shy of 32 pints. You're going to need a bit of extra um, equipment to brew this beer up. So according to the instructions on the front, you're either going to need uh, one kilo of brewing sugar or beer enhancer. I prefer to use the Mangrove Jacks 1.2 kilo of liquid malt extract. Or Mangrove Jacks also do a um, beer enhancer one um, that you could use instead. And that's in a 1.4 kilo pack. But here I'm using the 1.2 pure liquid malt extract, the light one. Okay, so what else do we need? Well, obviously we're gonna need a brewing bucket. Uh, we're gonna need a spoon to stir it all together. We're gonna need a siphon to help us move stuff from the fermented bucket into bottles. Um, here I've got what they call a hop sock, because in here is a packet of hops, um, and that's gonna be a lot easier to put them in the hop sock so that when you pull them out later, you can squeeze them all out, get all your beer back, and you end up with very little wastage. We're going to need something to put them in, so here I'm just going to use some swing top bottles and we also need some priming sugar, so I'm just using some brewing sugar and that uh, will go in the bottles and right at the end so that we can make it fizzy. Um, oh, scissors and a kettle. So that's what I'm going to do first. I've already filled my kettle up, so I'm going to get it on the boil. And whilst that's doing, I'm going to pour myself a bowl of hot water so that I can put these in and make the gloopy liquid malt extract in here that's really thick a little bit more runny. Come on in James and have a quick look because you'll see these are in blooming hot water. We've been soaking for about 10 minutes. So all I'm going to do now is just quickly dry them off. Now, inside here, with a pair of good scissors, you can chop the top off. This one bag splits into two pouches. On one side, as you can see here, we've got all the liquid malt extract, which is gooey and sticky. And on this side, just gonna use that hot water to dry my hands off a bit. We have got a pack of hazy IPA hops. Hophead L yeast and we've got our instructions. So once you've got those out, have a quick read of the instructions. This isn't going anywhere. And familiarize yourself with what you're going to be needing to do. But the first thing we're going to do is take our fermented bucket, which has been sterilized, and that's why I've taken me lid out and me spoon out, because they're sterilized as well. And separate out so now you've got your pouch on that side and give it a gentle pour. The smell is fantastic. It's lovely and gooey and runny. You can see how still thick and gooey it is. And when you get almost to the end, you can stand here for absolutely ages, but <laughs> there we go. Right. We're going to get to this in a moment, because I'm now gonna add my page of liquid malt extract. And we're gonna do exactly the same, open that up, and pour that in as well. We're now gonna need three liters of boiling water. My jug here goes up to two. So I need to put the kettle on again in a moment to get another litre. But with some of this water, I'm gonna very, very carefully pour it into the pouch because we've still got a lot of liquid malt extract in here. It's very, very, very difficult to get out. I don't know if you can see that in there, James. So give it a little stir. So you can pour this out. 
see how much came in. And you can see it. There's still quite a lot of gooey liquid in here still. So we're going to go again. And with that, you can start lifting the spoon up with some water in it so you can get around the sides. Being careful not to take it out of the pouch. Of course, scold yourself. Oh, it smells great. Oh, it's almost orangey going on. Oh, it's going to be a lovely American style craft beer as well. I can smell it from here. And we haven't even added any of the, the dry hops in yet. Really biscuity. That's, That's pretty much everything out of that one. So exactly the same now with the pouch of malt extract. And I know on the pack it says you can squeeze the pack out, but squeezing the pack out, you still get a lot left in here. This way, I tend to find you seem to get pretty much everything out there. Right, so let me pop the rest of that in and I need to put my kettle back on for another litre. Here's my third litre of boiling water, so in that goes. And all we're going to do now is just gently, because you can still see it's very thick and gloopy down at the bottom. Just going to use our boiling water to help dissolve the really thick gloopy liquid malt extract. Lovely, so that is the water and the liquid malt extracts all mixed together nicely. And what we need to do now, we'll bring it up here, we need to top it up to 18 litres. Well, 18 litres on my bucket also equates to about four gallons. And so it's going to be cold tap water. Now I like to run it down the inside of the buckets because as you saw the beer that we had at the bottom there, the wort, it's already starting to foam up. And if you just pour it straight in like that, what we're gonna end up with that, so we're gonna end up with this really, really fluffy bubble bath mixture. We don't want that. So run it, try and run it down the side of your bucket and all the way till we get to four gallons or 18 liters. Sweet, so I've finished topping my water up to the 18 liter mark. And I'm gonna give it a really good stir. Get right down to the bottom with your spoon because there's lots of thick liquid down at the bottom we need to mix that in with the cold water that we just poured in at the top we need to check the temperature of our wort is uh, below 25 degrees c so we can add our yeast and that's coming out exactly smack on 25 so we know we're fine to move on and add our yeast but before we do that i've also taken a reading in uh, or a sample in our trial jar so i can get a reading with a hydrometer and if I can read that, that's a bit awkward at the moment because it's right on the line. Uh, that is coming out at 1.062. And I've uh, sterilized my hydrometer and trial jar, so that's going back in as well. And we're going to make up the note of the reading 1.062. Next thing is our yeast. Here we've got some Hophead L yeast. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that on the top like so. Now I'm gonna leave this to hydrate for five minutes before I give it a stir back in. So I'm just gonna pop the lid on for five minutes. Our yeast has been sitting down for five minutes and you see it's already started to change. So we're just now gonna give this a gentle stir in and get it going. The smell is fantastic. You've got the yeasty bready smell mixed with a really almost pithy oranginess going on. That is lovely. Right, so my lid's gonna go on loosely and now this is gonna go into my warm cupboard at 18 to 22 degrees C and it's gonna sit there now for seven days. It's been seven days since we started the Mangrove Jacks Hazy IPA. And so we need to take a reading with our hydrometer. And here I've got a sample in my trial jar and it's coming out at 1.014. Now, you need to read the instructions on this because depending whether you use the liquid malt extract, 
beer enhancer or brewing sugar, you will need to check your specific gravity against the instructions. Because we used liquid malt extract, it says that it needs to be below 1.025 before we move on, and it is, so perfect. Right, come on in James and have a look at this. I'm gonna show you the lid a quick second because the lid is absolutely covered in um, leftover crimson. So this all bubbled up beautifully as it was fermenting and it's coated the inside of the bucket. There's a few bubbles still left on the top, perfectly normal. So we now know it's, we're ready to move on to our next stage. Now over here in my saucepan, I have got a hop sock. Uh, the reason why it's in a saucepan is because I've just boiled it in some um, sterilizing solution for a minute, just to make sure, because this is gonna go into our lovely fresh beer. And over here, I've got our packet of hops that comes in the kits. So we're gonna slice this open and always have a good old sniff. They smell I mean, lovely actually, have a good old look in there. Lovely pelletized hops. And this usually is a bit of a fun job because we're gonna try and get it into that tiny little hole, this whole packet. Wish me luck. Uh, uh. Yeah, then. Oh, there's stuff there. There we go. Now, the reason I'm using a hop sock rather than just pouring it in is you could pour these straight in. Um, but what I tend to find is they soak up uh, a lot of beer. And when I say a lot of beer, I mean they soak up a lot of beer. So using the hop sock, you'll still be able to get lots of lovely um, flavors infused. We are all in. You'll be able to get lots of those lovely flavors infused, a bit like using a tea bag. But what it will mean at the end, when you pull this out, is you'll be able to give it a good squeeze, squeeze all the beer back out, you won't really have lost anything. If you just pour it straight in at the bottom of the fermentation bucket, you'll find you've got a huge amount of sediment that's soaked up with so much beer. And unfortunately, when you're only doing a, a, a 36 pint kit, um, you'll find you, you lose a lot to, to beer, basically. So in that goes, drop it in. It's gonna soak up lots and lots and lots of beer now. It's just gonna float around. It's gonna add all those lovely hop aromas. So my lid goes back on. This goes back into the warm cupboard to carry on fermenting. And the yeast are actually gonna help pull all those lovely flavors out of those hops and make it taste absolutely stunningly delicious. So, back into my warm cupboard for another 48 hours. It's been another two days in my warm cupboard for the Mango Jack Hazy IPA. And come on and have a look at this, James, because there is the hop sock full of the hops. And what I've done down here is I've taken a sample in our trial jar because it says for this kit, as long as the SG is below 1.016, we're ready to move on. And our SG is 1.014. So I'm gonna pop in here and I'm gonna take the hop sock out. It's really firmed up. Oh wow, that's a lot of, uh, lot of juice in there. Now, if we'd put those um, hops directly in the bucket, what you'd have found now is they would have all sank to the bottom and there would be a layer of hops, probably about that thick, and you'd lose about four pints of beer to it. But what I've now got, because we can move on, is I've got a sterilized bucket, I've got my sterilized siphon, and we're gonna transfer the beer in this bucket into our second one. And the way I'm gonna do that is just using a simple siphon. Now, if you don't want to suck on the end like I did, you can buy an auto siphon, which is uh, a quick pump up here and it gets the flow going. Feel free to do it as you wish to do. But have a look in here, James, because I think this hazy IPA is living up to its name right now. I finished siphoning the beer from our first bucket into this second bucket. And there was a load of sediment in the bottom of the first bucket and I was careful not to disturb any of that. So we've got a beer in here that's now ready to bottle. Now, if we read the instructions for the Hazy IPA, it says to add half a teaspoon of sugar to each bottle. 
Now I find that a bit of a faff with a teaspoon, trying to then get it into the neck of the bottle. And I've done it with funnels and loads and loads and loads of things over the years. So what I like to do is I like to put the sugar into the beer here and I like to um, stir it around, dissolve it, so that I know that every single bottle is gonna have the same amount of sugar in. So this kit is gonna be 18 liters. And that's pretty much what I've got here. So 18 liters, that's gonna be um, doubled because we've got 500 ml bottles. So 18 liters into 500 ml bottles, that's going to be 36. And 36 times 2.5 is 90 grams of sugar. So here I've got 90 grams of sugar. If my maths was a little bit out there, apologies. Right, now gently give it a stir in. And stir it until all the sugar is dissolved. So here I'm using a little bottle on the end of my um, siphon that I've already primed in the beer. And here I'm using some brown beer bottles that have been sterilized and swilled out. And all we now have to do is just plunk it in and fill it up. It takes a few seconds to fill up. And we're gonna take it up to a bank here on the neck and it gets there quite quickly. And all we need to do when we get close to the beer being at the top, is pour our siphon out. So it's coming up to the top now. Actually, it almost overfilled. And there we go. So the top can now go on. And that's bottle one done. I've got a few more to go. I finished my first batch of bottles. I know I've still got a little bit to, to go. Um, but these are now going to go into my warm cupboard for the next three days for the secondary fermentation to uh, complete. And that's going to cause all that uh, sugar to be eaten by the remaining yeast and create lots of lovely fizz in the bottles. Then I'm going to put it somewhere nice and cool, like my garage, um, and I'm going to leave it for a couple of weeks for it to condition and get ready for drink. In. Then I'm going to pop it in my fridge, leave it to chill down uh, for about 10 minutes, not too long, pop the bottle open and enjoy it. But the initial tastes and looks are proving good. It's got a lovely good hazy colour. The aromas are of peach, a bit peachy, a bit stone fruity peachy. Um, what else have we got going on there? A bit of pineapple. Quite a good toffee aroma as well. And yep, that also comes out in the flavour. Oh, that's actually quite fruit cocktail-y flavour going on in there. It's really, really nice and juicy. That is lovely. Again, nice bit of sweetness to it. The bitterness, it's very, very low on this kit. If you love um, low bitter IPAs, you're going to love this one. So I think this one's gonna be one for me. Right, I suppose I better get on and finish, uh, finish the bottling. Anyway, enjoy your hazy IPA. Cheers for now and happy brewing.